Hello everyone, it's uh, Talk To Me Tuesday for whatever today is, 27th of January. Uh, so actually for the 26th of January because I'm really quoting this on Tuesday, not Wednesday. Um, things have been a bit crazy around here because uh, the semester has begun. It began yesterday, so uh, I'm officially in only one class. Uh, but in classes again, and there are students roaming campus. Um, I really need to start recording these videos earlier in the day so you can get natural light coming through my window and, you know, not have to have reflections in my glasses and weird shadows on my face. But anyway, um, I have a few crafts to show. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show is... Uh, my mother-in-law made some Linus blocks for Ophengen. So she has two that look like this. And then two that look like this. So that was very cool of her. And she got those together. So those will go in the package that we're sending to Jennifer. Uh, Rachel and I are sending to Jennifer will include all of the the quilt blocks as well. Um, additionally, I've been getting into swaps on Swaplot, uh, and I've been wanting to do some ATC card uh, ATC cards, uh, some artist trading cards uh, uh, to get some cards and to decorate my office and whatnot because you can see my walls are very white and while I have you know cool crochet amigurumi and other cool things kind of standing up around my wall office I have very little on my walls the one over here looks no different <laughs> uh, the one over here has the advantage of my desk covering it and then the door so it's you know pretty well covered but um, and maybe if I had some cool artwork on my walls, people would stop noticing the large amount of just general crap and um, yarn that I have floating around my office. Anyway, um, so I'm doing ATC swaps on Swapbot. So uh, the first one I made was kind of silly, uh, but I had fun with it anyway. Uh, this is for a themed swap. And so the swap was kind of cool uh, in that everybody chose, you know, listed 10 themes that they were interested in. And then your swap partner will choose one or more of those themes and make you an ATC for it. So this particular person uh, said fish, valentines, and inspirational quotes. So uh, this is what I put together for her. And uh, then uh, my other swap partner, because we had two swap partners, wanted, um, I said, owls, knitting, and pink. So I put together this. So this is a um, origami owl. And then I knit, I borrowed uh, some size zero knitting needles. Uh, sorry, like something randomly is happening in the background of my computer. But I borrowed some size zero uh, knitting needles from Kytiran and uh, knit up that little swatch of knitting. It's uh, 20 stitches and I'm not even sure how many rows. Um, I just did it up until it was a good height that would fit on the card. Um, and then the last, then I did a row onto one needle. Um, and then, well, onto one needle. And then uh, I did half a row, on, or not needle, but they're uh, the jewelry pins, you know, the straight pins. Um, and then I did a half of a uh, row onto the other one so that it would hold well. And it, it worked out quite well. I originally um, tried to knit on these. But it didn't work very well, you know, because it's not actually tapered at the ends. And, uh, the, you know, it was just so small. And they're just not long enough, you know. It really helped to have the longer length of the, um, 
double pointed needles that I was using to do it on um, to work in that s small of a gauge. Um, but I'm quite pleased how this one turned out. Uh, so those are for my two swaps. And I need to get those mailed out soon. But I'm thinking of including little things in with the packages. So I need to get the little things done uh, and mail that out this weekend. Um, another swap I'm doing is for bookmarks. So I took some yarn, uh, some small yarn, sample yarn actually. The the green is a sample yarn, and then the um, the little flowers are some mystery sock yarn that I had gotten at the yarn swap at Fiber Camp. Um, so I did five little flowers and made a cute little flowery bookmark. I'm I was debating on whether I was going to uh, lock this out and stiffen it or if I was just going to leave it as is, but I kind of like it floppy and so then there, you know, it'll flop over the edge of the book well and whatnot. So I think I'm going to leave it floppy. The other one I did was this cute little cat kitty. I still need to lock his tail to make it a little bit straighter and so that it will fit into the books nicely. But uh, he's a cute little kitty. This uh, pattern was rather interesting because it was, it's only two, two rounds, you know. The first round makes the little circle of his belly and then everything else, the, the legs, the little paws, the whole head with the ears and the long tail is the second round. Um, and the instructions were, you know, just a dense block. So it was uh, kind of fascinating to try to do. But it was fun. It was cute. And I think I might make more of these because I really like them. Um, so I just need to uh, lock the tail so it is straight for the book. I might add, I put, might put a little curve into it, but uh, just so that it'll fit into the book nicely. So those are for the bookmark swap I'm doing. And then someone's doing a crochet swap based on a poem. Um, and each month will be a different line from that poem. So this uh, month was, uh, the theme was snow. So I made this snowflake hat. And I'm also gonna make uh, a couple, or at least one anyway, snowflake uh, tawashi and then a couple of um, snowflake ornaments to go in with it too. I've still got, I think I have to February 10th to mail this out, so. But, yeah, so the hat was really fun to make. Uh, the only important thing is to actually make sure you're paying attention to your rounds uh, on the snowflake. Uh, I was talking while I was doing it and I screwed up one of them uh, when I first started, so. Uh, this was actually the second snowflake that I did, but it was really quick and it was a really easy pattern um, and kind of fun. So that's what I got this week. Holy crap, I've already talked for almost 10 minutes. Um, uh, but I hope everyone is having a great week and hopefully I'll catch up on the Talk To Me Tuesday videos I haven't watched yet uh, since I have a ton of yarn and maybe I'll show that next week. I got a huge container of scrap yarn from a friend's mother um, and it's just an unbelievably huge amount of yarn um, that I've mostly got all rolled up in balls now so that it'll be easy to work with and I'm going to make some more Linus Connection uh, granny squares with that. Uh, so you'll probably see more of those next week. But in any event, ta-ta for now.